After posting the first two videos, I realized, um, well, thanks to the feedback I got from the guys that made comments on, on the videos, that there should be more content or, you know, there's a little more interest in the bell housing and how you get these engines to mate with whatever it is you're making. So this one's uh, the 03 JDM engine. As I said, this is odd. I was calling it an 03 M45 engine just because the top end and the hydraulic um, fan setup. But down here, back here, it's more like an 06 and up M45 in the US, that is. So this, this is what we get, right? So I just took a good look at it. And now that we have this, right? I have another engine here, the old block. This is an, actually from an 06 M45 in the US. And I'm going to show what the differences are. So there you go. That's how this looks like. Uh, obviously, I've messed with it a little bit. Um, so this spacer, AR200, this one is actually from an 03, I believe. That's correct, because uh, as you can see, the dowel pin is not there. The dowel pin is somewhere there in an 03. So this one actually faces here. All right. And as I said, it's slightly different in this engine, the 06 engine. There was mention of, there was talk of an adapter plate. There was talk of an adapter plate. If you flipped it, it would, unless they actually made it for that, it would probably not work right. So here, uh, these two bolts are lined up. This bolt is lined up. This one is lined up. Pretty much everything, you know, except down here. Now that's a little different. But there's a cutout for the starter right here, right? That's on the right side mounted starter. Here, surprise, it actually works, but, you know, it's going to take a different shape up here. Check this out. Now, this spacer here is actually from an 06 engine. So, pull that out. And have it that way. And this one says AR000. There you go. So this one right here fits like a glove, right? Because it's made for it. Two dowels, right? The dowel pin there, dowel pin there. Everything else lines up. And this oil pan right here is from an um, 06 oil pan right now. So everything else, you know, lines up pretty well. You know, this is how it looks like. Which is similar to this, right? Uh, this is one thing I did, obviously, I tested it out before putting it in here. Making sure everything matched, you know, otherwise that would be a... That would kind of ruin your day right there. But, so this is an 06, it works out. And then this is from an 03. As I said, this is again demonstration as to what works, what does not work. Up here, the bolts line up. A lot of them do line up, like the oil pan bolts right here. They do line up, right? This one, all four in the oil pan, they line up. They're on the same same place. Then the starter being on this side, you know, you have that. And I'd say the starter being on this side does change the game a little bit because you've got that support here, which is on this side, right? There's a little bit of buildup. Um, but, I mean, otherwise the, the bolt patterns everywhere else are the same. Um... If you felt so inclined, if you had a way to make it work, I prefer my starter to be enclosed. But if for whatever reason you wanted to put the starter on this side, if you got the wrong engine, it's just that the bell housing would not match. So now I'm going to put the bell housing on top and you're going to see how it looks like with the bell housing, okay? And by the way, I should mention this. I, I do hope I get a chance to, to actually test it, but this oil pan here, this one, which is an 06 oil pan, is the same as that one. The 04, 03 oil pan. They work just in terms of mating to the uh, to the transmission. And the engine, by the way, as well. The bolt right up. Which I really love about, you know, simplicity in manufacturing. So here's the oil pan. Uh, this is a bell housing. Transmission bell housing from an 06. Let me find the dowels. That's it sitting there 
for the most part that's it um one thing i noticed right here it says vh4w i really have no idea what that is but i believe um i'll have to look at my uh, pictures of my o3 but i need to see because this hump on the bell housing obviously was on this side but i'm just curious as to what it says and here's a tag with the with the vin number so that's how it looks like everything you know looks pretty good i'd say uh, definitely kept this for this part you know for fun they didn't want to throw it away i hope that gives uh shines a little more light to the situation to what goes on uh, and one thing I don't have, I don't have the flywheel with the signal plate. This is a rusted one, but this is it. So the starter engages with those teeth, and then the signal plate, this is it. For an M45, apart from this gap right here, which I need to measure, every, well, there's this one right here, and there's that one from the opposite end. But otherwise, everything else is gap the same. Um, I actually checked the ring gears and compared those to one from a, a Pathfinder 2002 Infinity QX4, actually. And they are the same, same size and all. The difference is the, the signal plate. That's going to mess you up. Let me see what I've got in my treasure chest. Okay, so this one right here, I should have labeled these things, but I didn't expect to, re to reuse them, really. Uh, as I said, two huge gaps tells me that is a, wait a minute, those gaps are weirdly spaced. This might be the Pathfinder one, actually. Yeah, because it's got this huge gap over here, this huge gap over here, this other huge gap over here. Uh, otherwise, there's a bunch of knickknacks in here, things I could or could not use. Um, I went through them recently, so I know I, I do need them. Um, well, um, if I remember, the, the only thing at this point that I might want to add to the whole story is maybe, you know, a picture of the VK, of the 06 Plus engine, the backside of it, beside uh, the picture of an 03, 04 engine, and you'll notice the similarities. I um, I really didn't know. I mean, I at the back of my hand, of my head, I knew that's uh, something I need to pay attention to. But with the questions that are coming up, it's something I definitely need to explore a little more. So, guys, that's what I was talking about. Um, in that flipping, if you got an adapter and you just flipped it, depending on how they made it, it might not actually work. Yeah, it would work if you removed the whole dowel pin deal, but even down here you can see the the mating surfaces are a little a little off right things don't fit quite quite well anymore just depends on how you make it and if you make an adapter with a bunch of holes I I, I don't know how steady it's gonna be anymore maybe it's just as good I really don't know so if you flip this adapter this is what I see one one two three four five six six holes out of ten would would be aligned and for you know for giggles let's flip this other one but i feel like it's the correct one let's flip it on the same engine see what happens and i wish i had kept the wrong engines that i had i had at some point I had too many engines something had to go so if you flip this onto a similar engine you'll get one two three four five six at least that's constant right that you you do it wrong you get so these should be a guide i mean if i were to make adapter plates i would get both of these and try to make um an adapter plate or ring whatever you want to call it spacer that actually works for both both engines i'm pretty sure you can get creative with the process This time I'm in the same area, but my focus is going to be on the oil pans. So check this out. This is the 06 style oil pan. As you can see, it's got this. It's taken out. You know, the edge of the oil filter meets the face of the 
oil filter carrier, whatever that is on the oil pan, right? Look at that. The O3 style, there it is, the oil filter sinks in there. This one's really short. I really don't know where they got the stubby oil filter from. That's what happens when you take it to a cheap shop sometimes. Anyway, so this one is the one that comes with the engine. Everything works, and I've demonstrated with... can't remember if this is the correct one now. Demonstrated with this... Wrong. Right. As I have shown with this uh, spacer right here, I'm using the spacer because it's much easier than carrying a whole bell housing around. That this works, everything lines up properly. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. So this one right here is the O3 style. And likewise, everything bolts right up. So if you were to find yourself in a position that you broke your oil pan and you need an oil pan badly, I mean, honestly, it costs 150 bucks or so from the dealership, or maybe 250, whatever it is, could buy it. But if I were to find myself in that position, hell no, I'm just getting to, I'm going to use the one I have. And I've done it before, by the way. So this is what you see. The oil pans work, and as you can see, Every single bolt aligns well. Same thing here, right? It's pretty transferable, so to say. And um, take it from me, all these bolts on the other side align as well. So this time I'm going to focus a little more on the oil pans and what's different about them. Uh, but as I said, they're definitely interchangeable. It's just that when you try to use this one right here, oh, I'll save that for the light.